Good evening, Double Knee, Double Knee Universe, and welcome back to another edition of Double Knee, Double Knee Slam. As always, I'm your host, The Revolution, joined as ever by Michael Cole, Byron Saxon, and the controversial Corey Graves. Several weeks ago, it was revealed that the women of Slam will compete in a series of qualifying matches for this year's Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Later this evening, Alicia Fox, Lana and Carmella will get their shot at the spot in this year's Women's Money in the Bank ladder match as they look to join Slam superstars Brie Bella and Peyton Royce. In a shocking turn of events, it was revealed that Emma will be joining both Brie and Peyton in this year's Money in the Bank ladder match after the former Slam Women's Champion made her shock return to WWE Slam. Emma made her return disguised as the local talent Tia during the qualification match against former Prince Sonya Deville, just weeks after being suspended by interim general manager Vicky Guerrero. What will Vicky Guerrero and the rest of Los Guerrero familiar have to say on the matter? We hear from Vicky Guerrero up next. Wow, bold statements from the interim general manager Miss Vicky Guerrero as seen moments ago. Unfortunately for Emma, her spot in this year's Money in the Bank ladder match has been revoked and she instead must face Carmella in our main event of the evening for a chance at being at this year's match. 
However, we shift our focus to Emma's former best friend as Raquel Diaz put their championship title on the line in another edition of the Raquel Diaz Open Invitational. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from El Paso, Texas, the WWE Women's Champion, Rachel Diaz. Guys, this one promises to be absolutely amazing. But as they say, promises are made to be broken, Michael. Though in this case, I think we're safe. Yeah, and for me, tonight will go a long way in determining exactly which woman is the most dominant in WWE. Same here, Michael. I'd say it's almost impossible to overstate the importance of this match, especially as it relates to where in the pecking order the winner will end up. It's a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael. And judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. Well, this is what she's been working so hard for, an opportunity at the gold. Yeah, but earning an opportunity at the gold and actually winning are two completely different things, which I'm sure she's about to learn firsthand. Of course, the title is on the line in this one, guys. And don't be surprised if history is made here tonight. I know the champ has looked good as of late, but I'd say the opposition has looked just as good, if not better. Well, by the look at the champ's face, I'd say she's more than ready to get this one underway. I don't know if she should be so confident, Cole. I mean, this might be the stiffest challenge of her reign right here. Introducing the challenger from San Diego, California, Maya Jack.
Introducing the champion from El Paso, Texas. She is the WWE Women's Champion, Rachel Diaz. Don't change that dial. We're ready to go, folks. Time to get this one started. Tonight, we will definitively find out if the champ really is as advertised. Judging from this crowd response, guys, there's no more magical place to be in Orlando right now than right here for this match. Here's Nia Jax with some offense of her own. Here's Nia Jax with some offense of her own. We might be looking at a black eye after that one. Let's touch on Diaz a bit. Early in the going here, what do you think she needs to do to defend her title? The champ certainly has an uphill battle tonight, Cole, but if you're asking me if we're going to see a title change tonight, the answer is no. I totally agree and can't wait to see if she can rise to the occasion and retain the title here. Into the powerbomb position now. And that's not necessarily where you want to be at this point in the match. This match beginning to take its toll on Diaz. This is where we find out what the champ is. Could this be it? Come on, how is she still going here? Yeah, it's going to take more than that. Camel clutch locked in. Fighting for survival. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Making it look easy, Corey. Yeah, but I assure you, walking around with a superstar on your shoulders is no easy task. She has one of the most effective overhands in the game. Swing and a miss. That was strike one, two, and three. The small of her back took the brunt of that one. That's perfectly placed and how you land the big strike. She's got the shoulders down. Kick out at the last moment. She's still in this one. Fighting to get back to her feet here. She's just taking too long, Cole. She's got to move faster. She is on fire. So strong. Fireman's carry. Slamming her to the mat. Oh, so hazardous to your health, too. Don't be surprised if you crown a new champ here. Barely at two and a half. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. She's looking at it. Oh, man. That looks like it hurts. That's it. That's what she needed. And this has got to be it. And now she's on the offensive.
The referee has seen enough, and this one is over before it begins. Yeah, the referee just had no other choice. It would seem that Los Guerrero Familia are having a bit of a nightmare this evening in WWE Slam. It seemed moments ago Raquel decided to flee from her latest job invitational after Nia Jax unexpectedly answered the call. Also later this evening, Emma and Carmella go toe to toe for their shot at this year's Money in the Bank ladder match. However, up next per interim channel manager Miss Vicky Guerrero, Brie and Liv Morgan must settle their differences as they team up to take on Team BAD after weeks of frustration for all four women. This one promises to be absolutely amazing. But as they say, promises are made to be broken, Michael. Though in this case, I think we're safe. Listen to this crowd, guys. They're fired up for this one. As well as they should be. This match has instant classic written all over it. is really amazing, Michael. It's almost impossible to be in a bad mood when she makes her way to the ring. When you're a twin, it's almost like you've had a tag team partner your whole life. Bree brings a tremendous set of skills to this pairing. This should be good. All the budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. And here's Bree Bella. Controlling the tempo. Let's quickly discuss Naomi for a moment. For those that haven't seen her, tell us what she has to do to win this one. Michael, I like the way she handles herself in there, but she's going to have to attack with a little more ferocity if she's going to win this thing. One thing I can say about her is if she does get beat, it won't be because of a lack of preparation or effort. She's licking her chops. Perhaps they're gonna end it with that schoolboy. Yeah. 
An aggressive takedown does its job. in trouble. She practically broke her back there. Morgan not looking good here. Her and her partner making a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. She's really had a tough time getting out of the gates here tonight. She needs to make a change, and she needs to make it now. Well executed drop kick. Sasha Banks got her there. And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. Look at that. She nailed her. Now that's how you land a well-placed strike on your opponent. And she delivers a crushing leg drop. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. A quick finish. Can she do it? And she kicks out with relative ease. She's still in this one. And there's the reversal from Sasha Banks. And there's the counter. She's got the shoulders down. Sasha Banks quickly getting the shoulder up. Hey, I guess you never know. She's definitely energized, but she better make sure she saves something for later. Well, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. Now there's the counter. And that's the tag to Naomi. That's a great example of teamwork right there. Hoping to make a tag. Look out, there's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Not this time. I've never seen her miss by so much. Brie Bella is acting like a true diva here, and the fans seem to be eating it up. She's got her. She comes up big with a reversal. That lands. Look at her go. Oh, the reversal by Brie Bella. She's got her now. She's in the driver's seat now. But now can Brie Bella capitalize? She can end it here. Wait, are we sure that that wasn't three? Nice kick out there. Brie can't be stopped right now. You can see the pain on her face after that slam. Yes, Lock! This match is slipping away from Naomi here.
Look at that, she escapes. Talk about coming up clutch, guys. What a gritty performance. She's going for the cover. No, a kick out. She powered out there, Michael. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. A lot of problems. They did it. Wow. What a match. Here are your winners, Naomi and Sasha Banks, the Bad Girls. And Naomi helps lead the team to victory. These two work so well together, Michael. I'd be surprised if they went their separate ways anytime soon. What an effort we saw here. Truly a great match. It would seem the tension between Brie and Liv Morgan is far from over after Liv abandoned Brie at ringside, giving Team BAD the upper hand. Well, unfortunately for Liv, she won't be able to escape the action next week as she goes one-on-one -on -one with Sasha Banks. However, up next, Lana and Alicia Fox go one-on-one -on -one for their spot in this year's Money in the Bank ladder match. Who will join Brie, Bella and Peyton Royce in this year's match? Stay tuned to WWE Slam. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, from Moscow, Russia, Lanza. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold out crowd came to see. Corey, in terms of raw talent, where do you think these women rank as it relates to the other competitors in the division? Oh, they're right there at the top, Cole. Years from now, I think we're gonna look back at these women and realize just how lucky we were to watch them compete. That's how talented they are. And her opponent from Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, Alicia. And Corey, here comes Alicia Fox. Looking foxy as ever, I might add. Byron, I think these women may be caught off guard a bit by this stellar crowd reaction they're receiving here. I don't know why, Michael. It seems like they get one of the biggest reactions each and every week. you think they'd be used to it by now.
oftentimes in our business, the only way for personal issues to be ultimately resolved is two superstars enter the squared circle and go one-on-one -on -one in a good old-fashioned wrestling match. And given the athleticism of these women, this one promises to be can't miss. Judging from this crowd response, guys, there's no more magical place to be in Orlando right now than right here for this match. As the action continues, let's discuss Lonza briefly. For those that haven't seen her, tell us what she has to do to win this one. Nothing like watching two. Looking for the quick pin. And Alicia Fox avoids the early pin. She's a warrior, guys. And a slap. Alicia Fox with the offense. She clearly doesn't care about the rules. She slams her down with great force. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. Oh, momentum was not working in her favor there. Alicia Fox not looking so hot here. To be expected, though, given the competition she's in there with tonight. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. Yeah, but I feel pretty confident. In... She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. She is on fire. I'm not so sure the body's supposed to absorb that type of impact. Oh, the reversal by Alicia Fox. Look at that, she nailed her. Now that's how you land a well-placed strike on your opponent. Got him turned over, the Boston Crab. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. You're not gonna get her that easy. Tried for it early. And now she's on the offensive. Back in from the apron. Look at this power. She's just so dominant. No reverses it. She might have it. Find the star. Here's her chance. She's got the shoulders down. One, two, three. The pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, Lanza. Huge victory here in one-on-one -on -one action. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there you have it. Lana joins Brie Bella and Peyton Royce in this year's Money in the Bank ladder match. Will fellow blonde bombshell member Carmella have as much luck as the ravishing Russian as she takes on Emma? Our main event of the evening, Starts now. The 
following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Emma! One-on-one -on -one action coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet this will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. When you have two superstars as hungry as these two competing in the ring, you can bet it'll be memorable. I don't know who's more excited to get this one going, these women or this crowd. Or Saxton. Jeez, would you relax already? I know this is a big match, but you need to be bouncing up and down like that. Come on, it's creepy. For the Princess of Staten Island. Looking quite fabulous, too, I might add. But her opposition here tonight is incredibly dangerous and simply cannot be overlooked. Agreed. But I don't think she's overlooking anybody, Cole. That's not the kind of competitor she is. And there's the bell, and here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Oh man, this is gonna be great. And it's worth noting that we are just a few miles from the WWE Performance Center, which means there are plenty of WWE hopefuls in the back studying this one. An early pin attempt. How's she gonna get it done here? WWE is the best bargain in sports entertainment in the world, and this match is just further proof. I do expect her to show her opponent and the rest of the WWE that she's going to be someone to reckon with for a long time to come. So damaging. Hoping to end it early, and she kicks out with relative ease. She is ready for a fight tonight. She doesn't want this lack of momentum to snowball. Jeez. the ring and there's the counter Carmella groggy and wide open here she got her with a reversal and a quick overhand punch and she hits the drop kick Emma's geared up and ready to go She's got the skill to go on runs. Now we'll see if she has the stamina. Could this be it? And now she's on the offensive. 
Carmella with good timing there. Emma's starting to sweat. She's gonna have to make sure this doesn't get out of hand. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. She needs to find a way to get to her feet. Time is of the essence here too, Michael. Oh, a resounding move by Emma. That's what makes her so dangerous. Carmella's in a real bad spot. Makes her pay for all that. She got her good there. There are too many women in the back. It, a quick finish. Can she do it? Two, three. There's the pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, the Princess of Staten Island, Carmella! There's no doubt about it. That's a big pinfall win right there. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring. Thanks for tuning in to WWE Slam. As always, I've been your host of Revolution, and we hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of WWE Slam. Be sure to leave a comment below, tweet us at Revolution, or head on over to www therevolution.co.uk to keep up with all things WWE Slam. Tune in next week to see what's in store for the women of Slam because you never know who might turn up. Until next time.